Shalom, I'm Yashua Raga. Peace, Israel. First and foremost, I want to send all praises and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakaq, Radash, Brakatah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the whole fleet like the visual. This is your boy Azar coming at you with another lesson from the GMS Miami camp. Today's lesson is going to be about Jezebel. Jezebel. Now, a lot of people have heard about Jezebel, but, um, you know, in the Christian community and also the uh, GMS community as well. Um, but do do most Christians know what she did? You know, um, I looked up Jezebel in a blue letter. It says, by all exalts, by all exalts. And the Strong's G H348 says, and the Greek is, I think it's Isabel, Isabel, something like that, Isabel. And it also says wife of Ahab, who was the king, uh, who was the king at that time. You know, um, let's go to the book of uh, uh, First Kings, chapter 19, verses 1 through 3. Okay, and I had and I Ahab told Jezebel that he liked what Elijah had done with and with all how he had slain all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elijah, saying, So let so let the gods do to me, and more also, if I make thy life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. And when he saw that, he arose and went for his life, and came to Beersheba, which belonged to Judah, and left his servant there. So yeah, man, uh, Jezebel tried to come out to Elijah because of what he did. Now, when you go for the back into uh, chapter nineteen, um, Elijah told the prophets of, of of Baal, "Say, look, all right, let's sacrifice two bulls, okay? Whichever one, uh, roughly paraphrasing, whichever one." burns up first is the true God okay so just to make a long story short the bullet that Elijah had burned up first he, and he even dumped like uh, water on the bull just so the people could know that Yahweh was real okay and all through the uh, day the people kept calling on their God to burn their bullet but when Daniel called on Yahweh to burn his the bullet that he pre, that he had set before the Lord, it burned up. Okay, it burned up. Now uh, Ahab told Jezebel what happened. Okay, and how he you know you know because uh, uh, after after that happened um, after the, the the bullet got burned up, you know. Um, all the prophets of Baal were killed, okay? And then when Jezebel heard that what happened, you know, she sent, um, Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elijah saying, let the gods do to me and more also, if, if I make not, if I make not thy life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. So, you know, Jezebel was coming for Elijah, man. She was sending for Elijah, you know. But when Elijah heard it, you know, and when he saw that, he arose and went for his life. So he he, he tried to get out, man. He tried to dip, you know. Okay. Let's go to uh, First Kings uh, 21. First Kings 21, starting at verse, let's start at verse 5. Uh, this is going to be 5 through uh, 5 through 14. But Jezebel, his wife, came to him and said unto him. Okay, well, let me go, let me go further back. Another evil thing that Jezebel did was uh, there was this vineyard that 
uh, her husband wanted, which was King uh, Ahab. And King Ahab asked his man if he could have the vineyard. But the man said no, because that was the land that was given to him by his fathers. So, you know, Ahab went to, you know, he went back to his place or whatever. And uh, uh, he didn't eat. He felt bad, felt down. And Jezebel, you know, just roughly paraphrasing, asked him what was wrong. And um, the man said, well, I wanted a vineyard. The king said I wanted the vineyard, but, you know, the, the guy that owned the vineyard, vineyard said that he, I couldn't have it. He said that he couldn't have it. So Jezebel, you know, uh, took it upon herself to um, get the vineyard, to pursue the vineyard for King Ahab, okay? And let me, let me, let me, let me see here. I think I'm at, uh, I'm going to start at verse 5 and go all the way down to 14. But Jezebel, his wife, came to him and said unto him, Why is thy spirit so sad that thou eatest not with no bread? And he said unto her, Because I spake unto Nabah, the, the Jezreelite, and said, un, and, and said unto him, Give thy vineyard for money, or else, if it please thee, I will give you another vineyard for it. And he answered, I will not give thee my vineyard. Jezebel, his wife, said unto him, Doest thou govern the kingdom of Israel? Arise, eat bread, and let thine heart be merry. I will give thee the vineyard of Naboth, the, the Jesuit. Now, I mean, really, you're going to let your woman, this is the king, but yet uh, Jezebel is saying she's going to get the vineyard for the king, you know? I mean, come on, man. That's just out of order. Definitely out of order. Okay? And, you know, you, you see something like that happen in households today. Okay? Where women try to run shit, you know, just because they can. And, you know, uh, nowadays the women are the breadwinners, you know, in, in, in this country. You know? And, you know... It's kind of messed up, man, because, you know, the men are supposed to be the breadwinners. The men are supposed to be the ones that run the household. But as you can see in this case right here, Jezebel was trying to run uh, King Ahab's kingdom, you know. And she did some evil shit, man. I'm about to read it right now. And Jezebel, his wife, said unto him, Do it, doest thou govern the kingdom of Israel, you know. Arise and eat bread and let thine heart be merry. I will give thee vineyard of Nobath. I will give thee the vineyard of Naboth to the Jezreel. So how in the world does she have authority? Who made her king? Last time I checked, Ahab was king. You know? She wrote letters in Ahab's name and sealed them with, the, with his seal and sent letters Unto the elders and the nobles that were in his city dwelling with Naboth. And she wrote in the letters saying, Proclaim a fast, set Naboth on high, on high among the people. And set two men, sons of was it Belial, before him to bear witness against him, saying, Thou didst bless me, Yahweh. And the king, and then carry him out and stone him, that he may die. So she was plotting up against um, the. Uh, let me see what was his name. Um, the oh Naboth. She was planted against Naboth. Naboth was the guy that King Ahab wanted to buy the vineyard from. You know, and she was. Plotting to get nobody, man. She was setting him up so that uh, King Ahab could get that uh, um, that vineyard. Okay, uh, let me see. And the men of this city, even the elders of nobles. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, let me start at verse ten. And set two men, sons of Baliel, 
before him to bear witness against him, saying, Thou didst blasphemy Yahweh and the king, and carry him out, and stone, and stone him that he may die. Really? So just because your husband couldn't get that vineyard, you gonna want to uh, take a man's life and get the vineyard. For real? Really, Jezebel? And the men of the city, and even the elders and nobles who were in the inhabitants, who were the inhabitants in the city, did as Jezebel sent unto them, as, as it was written in the letters which she sent unto them. They proclaimed a fast and set Nobah on high, on, on high among the people. And there came in two men, children of Baalil, and set before him. And the men of Baalil witnessed against him. So she even set up uh, false witnesses against him, man. That was a wicked woman. Um, even against Nobah. In the presence of the people saying, Nobah did blaspheme Yahweh and the king, which was a lie. Then they carried him forth out of the city and stoned him with stones that he died. Innocent blood. Innocent blood. So Jezebel took the life of innocent blood, man. You know, took the life of innocent blood, which is messed up, you know, but... Hey, man, that's why we got to be careful with some of these women we meet because some of them can be wicked, 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 wicked. You know what I'm saying? You know, but Jezebel did a very wicked thing. And, you know, you might and, and during the time of Jacob's trouble, you might have some of these women being that Jezebel spirit. You know, that you, you tell them the truth and stuff like that and they get offended and then they want to go tell. You know, they, they baby daddy or uh, ex-husband or husband or whatever to have somebody come after us, you know. But you know what? That's all right, Akim, because the Most High is going to protect us, you know. He's going to protect us. You know, a lot of people, have, uh, some of these so-called nigga women or whatever, when they hear us out there on the highways and the hedges, you know, they quick to defend Creflo Dollar, uh, 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 John P. Key, Kurt Franklin, T.D. Jakes, and all that, but they won't, they, they won't defend, they won't agree to the gospel, you know, they want to serve their, by all, by all ministers, preachers, because they preach prosperity, it's something they can see, you know what I'm saying, and some of these women, men don't have faith, you know, they don't have faith, the only kind of faith that they have is, in their pork chop eating preacher, you know, they say they love y'all. I mean, God, they say you know they're a Christian and everything, but are they actually practicing? Um, well, actually, they're not really practicing because um, pork chop eating preacher ain't gonna bring out edifying precepts, he's gonna bring out prosperity precepts, you know. But, um, yo, yeah, man, you might have some, um, uh. Some of you brothers out there may live with a Jezebel. You may be dealing with a Jezebel at your job, you know? Always scheming, always lying, always trying to get somebody in trouble, especially the so-called nigga woman, you know? You give a nigga woman a position in the work in the, in the, in the work uh, place, man, let me tell you something. Woo! Let me tell you something. But, um, yeah, I can, we just got to be steadfast, man. Be aware of that. Uh, Jezebel spirit because that Jezebel spirit some of these women they'll set you up you know they'll definitely set you up so we got to have a discerning spirit and that's the most high you know you know to to enhance our spirit so if we can pick up that vibration of a Jezebel coming towards us we can know how to move you know for real but uh that's my lesson for t tonight and uh, all praises and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Wakakadash, Barakatai. Till next time, Shalom.